Hello everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back for another Pixel Maven project tutorial. Today I am working with a new cut file from scrapbook.com called My Whole Heart. And I created a really cool card using a kind of eclipse technique and some embossing on a embossing folder. So lots of cool little fun techniques that you can do to liven up your cut files. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did all that. Okay, so the first thing I did was I cut out the cut file on some Nina Solar White and I've actually used some post-it tape to tape all the pieces back in because I'm going to run this through an embossing folder and I want all the pieces to have a cohesive embossed look. And while I was at it, I cut out four of the hearts. So these are going to fit right on top of that, or right behind it actually. Um, and I've glued them all together so I have like this nice uh, piece that I can pop up that heart with and give it that kind of eclipse look. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to get started on this piece. So I'm going to use this 3D embossing folder by Sizzix. It's called Jumbled Triangles. So I'm adding in kind of like a geometric look along with this organic look with the heart and the script font. So since this is going to be embossed, I need to make sure that I get anti-static powder on this. And I even like flip it over. I'm really getting a lot on here. And I'm even going to do a little bit on here. And then I'm going to come in with my uh, clear embossing ink. And I'm just going to smush it all over. Now I'm probably not going to get a perfect impression. And that is okay because it's still going to give me the look that I want. I'm going to get the impression from the embossing folder, but I may not have perfect heat embossing, and that's all right. Okay, so now that I have that, I can go ahead and align my card base in here, or my um, panel. And then I'm just going to use some post-it tape to keep this closed because it likes to pop open. And then I'm going to run this through my Big Shot. Okay, so now that I've got that run through, I just need to open this up and see what we've got. And I've got a really good impression here. And now I'm just going to throw some gold embossing powder on this. I could pull it apart at this point and emboss all the pieces separately. I'm actually going to do some more embossing on the heart, but I'll get started this way and then I'll really see what I have going on. So you can see that it's basically sticking almost everywhere, which is exactly what I was going for. And if I want, I can bring in a brush and brush off some of these little parts here that I don't want to have embossed just to bring out these little patterns. Or as you can see, I'm just kind of using my finger to gently brush them off. So now that I've got that taken care of, there we go. I can go ahead and heat set this. Okay, so now that I have this all embossed, you're going to notice maybe that um, it doesn't look like a normal embossing job. And that's because I've done a technique where I've actually overheated the embossing powder, which essentially just makes it soak into the paper. Now, depending on how porous your paper is, it will soak in quicker than other papers. So with the Nina Solar White, it really takes quite a while. So I really have to keep going over it and just keep heating it up until I get all of these dull spots. So I didn't sand this or anything. This is actually just a process where by heating it too much, um, it just allows that embossing powder to soak into the paper. So now that I have that, I'm gonna pop out the heart. And I actually want to completely emboss this, so I don't want to have any white on this whatsoever. So I don't need to do any anti-static. I just need to get a whole bunch of embossing ink on here. And 
and then run this back through my powder and reheat it and then this element will be done. Okay, so now we can go ahead and finish this off. So I will just adhere the hearts to the stack of hearts just to give this a minute to dry while we're putting the rest of it together. Of course, these are gonna fit right on top perfectly. And then this will just take a minute to dry while we're working on the rest of it. Okay, so for this, I will go ahead and pop out the sentiment, the U. And we're not actually gonna use the U, but we do need those little pieces from the middles. So I'll pop this off. This is one that I'll need. I'm going to use this as a mask or a stencil or whatever you want to call it, a placeholder, so that way I can get those little pieces back in. But I will put this in my scraps bin, and you better believe you'll probably see this in a project sometime soon. Okay, so now I can go ahead and adhere this to my card base. It's going straight on, and there's no um, border around it, so it will fit exactly on the card front. All right, so you just want to make sure that you get these little pieces so that they don't get caught on something or flip up accidentally. All right, so just match that up in the corner and adhere that all the way down. All right. So that's pretty good in place and I can there we go go ahead and adhere our heart in of course it's just going to fit right in place here that's beautiful and then I need to, I'm just going to put this guy in place temporarily so I can get some adhesive on these and pop them into their spaces. So pop that in and this little guy, normally I would use tweezers, but the tweezers are across the room. So there we go. Just pop that in, and then I can pull out the U. And there we go. Got a really, really cool geometric card that, um, you know, I've used some neutral colors, so you could use this for the guy in your life or really anybody. You could go to your kids, um, any anyone that you just want to send a little card to that can remind them how much you love them. So I hope you enjoyed this technique and this project today. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will be back soon with another video. But until next time, happy crafting.